Hey fellas, how you doing? This one's for you. Um, I'm going to give you the same speech I gave to a group of young men yesterday, Sunday afternoon. All right. As difficult as this is going to be for the women that it involves, it is not a slam or me trying to put them down. These are just simple objective facts. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call the title, but I want as many of you young men to see this as possible. I'm going to list for you why you should not ever consider a single mom if you want to have a life with a woman or have your own family. This will be very difficult for women to understand because they don't really have a realistic grasp of accountability. As a man, you're already instinctively territorial, protecting the things and providing for the things and the people in your life that are primary instinctual duties. When a woman does not understand the absolute disrespect she brings with her when she brings another man's child into your life. Whether that man is alive or dead, whether that man is free to walk around earth or he's incarcerated, that man comes with family. That man you have to not only deal with that woman and that child that's not yours. That child can ruin your life with a snap of the fingers. He touched me, Mommy, at school. You didn't give her or her child, who's a boy or a girl, something they wanted at school. They decided to tell the teacher that you hit them or that you're inappropriate with them. And that's it. I don't know if you know much about the court system, and I'm going to segue into something real quick. When you hire an attorney, if you should ever need one, you're not just buying him for him or her for their services. You're buying them, you're renting them for their reputation, and you're renting them for access to the people that they know within the system. Is that how it's supposed to be? No, not at all. Is that the way it is? Yes. So there again, you have the information. Do with it as you will. Now back to the subject at hand. Why you cannot ever consider a single mother if you are a man without any children. Now if you want have your own children from a previous marriage and you want to have a blended family, that works out because you both have risk involved with the children. Um, getting back to it, the child can ruin your life with the snap of a finger by telling on you. Or It doesn't even have to be true. You don't want to have your reputation destroyed by a child or a woman who gets angry at you. It's already dangerous enough just to date. He touched me inappropriately after I told him no. It's almost like if you're going to hook up with the girl, it's consensual and all that. You better have a contract so she can't come back. What was the one lady 50 years, 40 years later and said that Trump raped her in uh, downtown New York? Come on. Anyways, now those are extreme stories, but that is a fact. It is, it has no advantage for any man to get married. Now, I still believe in the institution 
but I have the ability to protect myself. And I have a very good prenuptial agreement that is signed and videotaped with her attorney and my attorney and both of us and questions that were asked. Are you doing this of your own free will? And that is way more than you should be able to then a woman should be able to ask a man to endure. And that's just to keep the shit that you already had. So she can't take her stuff and half of your stuff and leave. Um, again, I am not anti-women. I have a wife. I have a mother-in-law. I have, they have, she, they have aunts. Uh, there's uncles, family, children, all that kind of stuff. I don't have a problem with that at all. But I have legal documentation that's videotaped that someone can't ignore. Is it 100% bulletproof? No, nothing is. And it's, at some point in time, it was a leap, leap of faith. If I had to go back and do it again, I would probably marry my wife. But then again, there is a chance that I wouldn't, and we would just... And anyways, here in Texas, after two years, you're common law married anyway, so you might as well get the prenup and do it, unless you want to be part of the guys that I support. And I support the MGTOW, right? the MIG men go their own way <laughs> community, as well as the red pill community. You cannot afford to risk everything you have built as a man simply to have a woman in your life. You have a contract to rent an apartment. You have a contract to buy a car. You have a contract to buy or do anything major in your life. And there should be provisions in there to protect you and to protect the company who's in there. That's the way it works. There should be no difference in a marriage of any type. There should be prenuptial agreements on both sides. I mean, even to live together with a woman, even to have a woman as a roommate, after two years, she can claim you're married and take half your shit. Anyways, so that's the same story I, I give. I'm being demonstrative. I was <laughs> waving my hands out. It is patently unfair for a young man to get married because if he doesn't understand the legal ramifications of being married, he will get screwed. 99.9999999 to infinity percent of the time. All right. Love you guys. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to do anything, but you have to be practical. This is the goal. The goal is to go out and find and make your way in the world. You have to have a plan. You have to understand the three phases of your life. I have my dreamer phase up till 23. After 23, I have a career phase. And a career phase comes with a retirement plan. And then I have a retirement phase of my life. That's the phase I'm in now. You have to understand financial literacy. That's why 10% of everything you make as a man is yours to keep forever. I'm going to help you with those kind of things. I'm going to help you with being able to defend yourself and using the tools available. Don't. There's no such thing on earth as a fair fight. People use guns and rocks and sticks and God knows what else they use. All right. So you better be able to defend yourself and stay in good shape. All right. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourselves. Part of that is understanding what is a benefit for you as a man and what is not a benefit. A single mother, no matter what, is not a benefit in any way. Okay? Love you guys. Like a, like a fart in a G-string. From West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.